Welcome to this BirdTrack video. In this video I'll be showing you how to explore the records that you have within BirdTrack. Once you've logged in, select Explore Data from the Your Options menu on the left of the screen. Then select Explore My Records. Here you're presented with a page with a range of filters across the top that allow you to define the types of records you wish to display. The Date filter allows you to select all your records, those for a particular year, a particular month, a date or a range of dates. The Places filter allows you to select all the records you have worldwide within BirdTrack, those for a particular country that you have visited or a region, or those for a particular site that you have within BirdTrack. The Species field allows you to display the records for a particular species. The Taxa field allows you to look at the records you have of birds, odonata, dragonflies and damselflies, and mammals. The output field shows a range of outputs including a table of records that match the criteria that you are searching for, a graph of species per year, a graph of species per month, and map my records as well as a number of other outputs. So here's an example. If I want to see my life list of birds within the United Kingdom, I simply select all from the dates filter, make sure that United Kingdom is selected in country and that birds is selected in taxa, and then table is selected in output. I click the create output button, and this displays a table of all my records within the UK within BirdTrack. So it shows I've recorded 419 species from 13,896 records, 135 complete lists from 359 places. And these species are organized in taxonomic order. And across the top, you can see the number of records of each species I've had, the number of sites I've recorded them at, and the reporting rate for each of these species. The first date heading shows the date that you first recorded the species, whilst the first place shows the first place that you recorded these. And you can filter by any of these by simply clicking the filter at the top of the column. And now back to taxonomic order. You can also download these as an Excel file by clicking download. Now let's have another example. What about if I want to see my year list for 2017? So again, I select years from the dates field and then from the drop down underneath, I select 2017. This time I click update all tabs and this will update this tab and give a summary of all the species I recorded in 2017 within the United Kingdom. Again, a summary at the top left hand corner of the table and all the species down here. And again, you can filter by any of the columns across the top and also download it. So let's look at another output. Let's say I want to view a map of all the records for 2017. So from the output field, I select map and then create output. And this has created a map of all my bird sightings for 2017. Clicking on the pin will open a pop-up with the site name across the top, then all the species I recorded at that site and the number of records for that site for each species. Now, let's say I don't want to look at 2017, I want to look at 2018. So I select 2018 from the dates field and then click update all tabs. And what this has done is actually updated not only the map site, it's also updated the table view. So you can see the summary is changed up in the top left hand corner and the maps change to a wider view to encompass all the sites that I had in 2018. So you can see that with by simply altering some of the filters across the top and choosing a different output, you can display your records in a number of ways. So let's have a look at another output type. This time I'm going to look at records per year. So I select records per year from the output and I'm going to select all my records. And so I click create output. And this now displays a graph for all the records I have within BirdTrack for each year. Hovering over a particular year produces a pop-up displaying the number of records for that particular year. And you can download this as a PNG image, JPEG image, a PDF document, or an SVG vector image. And you can also print this chart. 